So just an update on Wimbledon and the situation regarding members of the Big Three playing at Wimbledon. And unless you're living under a rock, Roger Federer retired a bit under two years ago, so he won't be playing at Wimbledon. Rafael Nadal has been confirmed by David Ferrer that he won't be playing at Wimbledon and instead will be partnering Carlos Alcaraz in doubles at the Olympics in Paris. He intends on playing the Hamburg ATP 500 after Wimbledon and in between the Olympics as a preparation, which is also a good tournament because some quality players like to play that tournament, i.e. Zvedev, and in the past, Tsitsipas and Alcaraz. So that's two members ruled out of playing Wimbledon. Of course, one of them ruled themselves out two years ago. That being said, Carlos Alcaraz, he will be joining Rafael Nadal in that doubles partnership. And he also talked about how he would prefer to win an Olympic gold medal as opposed to winning Wimbledon again. When you're as good as he is, you can aim to win all the trophies, all the medals, everything. But quite an interesting statement made by Carlos Alcaraz there. Moving on, Novak Djokovic, the third member of the Big Three. Novak Djokovic is now walking without crutches one week after his knee surgery. Although he does have a noticeable limp, which is to be expected at this stage, he has opted for accelerated treatment at the Center for Hyperbaric Medicine in Belgrade. It's good news for Djokovic. That means he hasn't given up hope for playing in Wimbledon. There was an article that came out the other day from the surgeon that did Djokovic's surgery, of course, and he talked about how the expected recovery time is about three weeks, but it's not impossible for him to play Wimbledon. And although the goal is to play Hamburg, then the Olympics, knowing how elite of an athlete Djokovic is, he has not ruled out, nor has Djokovic himself ruled out Wimbledon at this stage. So perhaps it won't be a Wimbledon without the big three. Perhaps we will still be able to watch Djokovic. And if he is able to play, that'll be a big win for tennis fans. We'll briefly interrupt that video because our growing partnership with Socorato's is growing and going into the Euros, which only starts in what, 48 hours from now, you have to get your jerseys. You can't be missing out now. You have to be wearing your nations or the nation you like if your nation didn't qualify at the Euros. If you're not going to the Euros, you can wear it any way you want. You don't want to be the person that doesn't have their favorite or your nation's colors. Please make sure to get it. As you can see here, we have pretty much every nation covered at Socorato's. Portugal, France, Italy, Serbia, Belgium, Croatia, you name it. There's retro jerseys, there's modern current jerseys, whatever you want. And of course, as always, use code SPORT at checkout. For example, when you buy this creation kit, you can get it customized with a patch, uh, name and number. Let's make it large. All such quality jerseys, it actually arrives pretty quickly as well. Customization might take a bit of a longer period of time for it to arrive. However, it's quite fast and as you expect. So pop in SPORT as your discount code, it should register, there you go, 10% off. And frequently there's free shipping involved for Socorato's, which is a great initiative of theirs. So make sure to check out Socorato's for your Euro 2024 kits. They're fast delivered, reliable, they're quality. So thank you for Socorato's for sponsoring this video. And here we go again, David Ferrer announced that Carlos Alcaraz and Nadal will play together in Paris 2024. How well will they play? That's a big question. Not a lot of experience together, if any. And Carlos Alcaraz might be a bit worn out after playing the French Open and Wimbledon back to back. But we'll see what happens. The main part today was just a bit of a catch up, seeing what happens with Djokovic. A lot of stories going out there with Djokovic. Personally, I'm not sure if he'll play. Only he knows, I would say. I reckon this time next week, we should have an idea of if he is playing or not. It's an exciting time in the world of sport. Of course, it was upsetting that Djokovic got injured and what under Carlos Alcaraz for winning Roland Garros. But a lot of the sports coming up, we got the Euros, we got Wimbledon and we got the Olympics among other sporting events. So just enjoy this period of time as sports fans. And as for Djokovic, I'm sure he'll be ready to play sooner rather than later. So let me know in the comments down below, would you like to see Djokovic perhaps leave Wimbledon and be 100% for the Olympics? Or would you like to see him in any capacity and give it his all? Also, let me know how well Nadal and Alcaraz will do together as a doubles partnership at the Olympics. Personally, I see them getting a couple big wins before losing to an experienced doubles team. But given their quality and talent, who knows? And of course, Nadal is a gold medalist in doubles as well. So perhaps I'm underestimating them a little bit and probably they'll get a medal. I'm going to revise my choice and say they'll get a medal, but it won't be of the gold variety. Until next time.